What are you looking for? I'm looking for my helmet. Why you need a helmet? I need my helmet because in the anime they have a helmet, so they go ahead and get into that diving simulator. Got it. <sighs> Time to dive. Okay, hello guys and welcome to the next pose video uh, and of course this pose video is going to be on the Gundam 00 Diver uh, I've actually been posing this Gundam uh, quite a bit since I finished building it. Uh, it's actually pretty fun to pose uh, I like putting some different dynamic ones or maybe just some stationary ones kind of like what you're looking at right now uh, But overall I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, quite a few poses um, three poses in particular and they're gonna range from uh, pretty much dash or slashing or probably firing you know whatever I can kind of think up on the spot because most of these um, poses of uh, pose videos I've done has pretty much been on the spot kind of just posing it in any kind of way I can so um, for this one let's go ahead and see what this first pose I can pull off is Okay, and as I mentioned before, uh, I really am pretty keen to uh, dashing poses. It's kind of like my go-to style. Uh, so just to knock that out of the way, I want to go ahead and show y'all one uh, using both GM blades and not just one like I did in the review. Um, I think this is pretty cool. Uh, kind of just like, it makes me really love the Double O Gundam even more because uh, to be honest, when the Double O Gundam was just in its base form and not with the uh, Ariser uh, attachment part to it, um, I honestly didn't care too much for it. I thought it looked very plain and uh, even when it has GM blades, I thought it was like, eh, it's like it's, it's very mediocre at best. Um, but I think this is something that makes me love it even more. Um, and maybe that's all it takes. Maybe it just takes another kind of idea of a certain existing suit, revamp it, and then bam, you can go ahead and make it look a little bit better. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the second pose of the video. So here it is. Um, I was having a little bit of an issue uh, just trying to get his arm correct and the Gian um, swords when they're in their uh, rifle form they just have such a huge problem with um, actually staying in the uh, the hands because they're so loose the the actual handle uh, for the the GM blade is very small but if you connect it with that like little uh, connecting point right here that looks like it's um, going right into the forearm. If you fuse those two parts together, and you know you can do that for the, the sword, but when you do that, um, it actually makes it have a much uh, sturdy actual um, like grip. Uh, so with this, you're gonna have to get that forearm pretty much attached to, or, or fold it all the way down, so that way it's kind of like holding on to the hand uh, while it's in the rifle form. Uh, because if you don't do that, then you're just gonna have a lot of issues and uh, That's one of the things that I, I do have a problem with this kit is that you're really gonna have to do this in order for it to even hold its weapon so um, High grades to in my to my opinion uh, shouldn't have any kind of problems holding its own weapon uh, I, I don't mind if the master grade has its uh, own issues. I know it's a pretty heavy um, You know, so usually it's a pretty heavy weapon uh, but with this this should not be any type of issue at all Alright, so let's go ahead and get right into the third and final pose. Okay, and here is uh, the final pose. Now the one thing I have noticed is uh, I really didn't do much with the binders. The binders, for the most part, um, kind of just stay uh, in the same kind of position that they're in so um, there's really not much of a need to like put them anywhere else I mean I leave them on the sides of the shoulder uh, if he's gonna be standing upright uh, but generally if they're if he if he's doing any kind of like um, 
dashing, slashing, or any kind of dynamic pose in general, uh, I kind of want to just throw them all the way back uh, because the thrusters are right here, these like two little gray areas. Um, so I'm just imagining he's thrusting forward. Now this one kind of doesn't make sense because he's not thrusting, he's kind of just putting himself more into a stance, uh, getting ready to attack. Uh, but you do know that with this leg right here, he's gonna pretty much um, leap forward pretty soon and uh, just go ahead and start doing some dynamic stuff. Uh, but the one thing I do love, um, oops, let me go ahead and fix this. All right, so one of the things I do love about um, this kit is these these feet. Um, they have such a great ankle rotation uh, that you're able to achieve this pose and you also have great uh, hip rotation. So it just has a very like wide range of movement um, and these are the kind of poses I really, really love. Uh, these like over the top dynamic anime style poses. Um, so this is something that has been a real treat uh, very, very happy to have built this and, uh, you know, being able to go ahead and pose in any kind of way I want. Um, so with that, guys, uh, definitely thanks for watching. If you truly love these pose videos and I'm kind of giving you uh, some better ideas because, you know, after you watch the review, um, if you really want to figure out, hey, how am I going to pose this on my shelf? And you come to this channel and you watch these poses, um, then pretty much and you get a great idea or at least some kind of inspiration then hey, I'm hoping that this is actually uh, you know, what I'm helping you do because that's the whole purpose of this uh, segment, you know, these little video segments anyways. Uh, but definitely thanks for watching. Click that like, subscribe button if you haven't already and ring that bell for notifications in the future. Uh, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. See y'all later, bye. That's right, we have a bonus pose just for you. So um, I was really thinking about this pose and I think this is probably gonna be the one that's gonna be on my shelf. Not the one that you're seeing right now, but the bonus pose you're about to get into. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay, and here it is, the final pose of the video. Um, so this one I was kind of thinking of, during the scene when he was fighting the Zetas, um, how cool it would have been, so instead of like him not having like any uh, of his weapons, I mean he did get the Beam Saber at the end from the Beam Master, um, but if he still had his Gian Sword, I was just imagining him kind of like, just like dashing side to side, and then pushing off of his one leg off of one side and then thrusting the GM blade right through the pilot's uh, cockpit. I think that would have been an awesome finish. Um, that's just kinda like what I was thinking about when I was uh, watching that battle. Uh, I mean, it was still a really good fight, um, but it would've been cool if like maybe he you know, would've dodged and I don't know, like it, if one of the GN swords is still like, um, maybe stuck in the, in the ground, because I know he only, he only went with one and then got blown up, but if you have him bring two, and then the other one got, you know, pretty much knocked out of his hand, stuck into the ground somewhere, if he would've went, grabbed it, th uh, you know, put, up, put on his thrusters at full blast, and then just side to side, and then bam, stab the Zetas, that would've been fantastic, but um, hey, that's kinda just something I was thinking about, and uh, I really like this pose, and I'm probably gonna buy a new Zetas, just to go ahead and paint it in that color scheme and then have those two guys uh, duke it out. So uh, that's it, that's it for me. Um, definitely appreciate y'all watching to the end of the uh, bonus pose. Um, if you wanna see more content like this, hey, definitely let me know in the comments. That's, if you, if you wanna get in contact with me, comments on YouTube or go to any of my social medias that is actually linked in the description or on my channel. Contact me there. Send me a message or you know whatever your thoughts are, and I usually just reply back to you almost instant. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.